So I'm sitting here and I'm going through and I'm about to record another update lecture for one of my courses. And I saw two of the same, you know, very, very similar questions. And I kind of wanted to touch on this because I noticed that a lot of beginners don't necessarily understand when you need a reseller's permit versus when you don't and what like the what the purpose of actually getting a reseller's permit is, right? So the first question is, do I need the seller's license or do I need the seller's license even if the clothes that I have uh, I already own? And the second one is very, very similar. And they said, hi, Brian, I'm a beginner and I want to start from retail arbitrage with an individual seller account first. My question is that when I buy products from retail stores, do I need to have a reseller's permit to sell those things on Amazon or can I just source like normal customers from the store and then sell it on Amazon without any permit? I'm really confused about this. If the seller's permit is a mandatory requirement to get in retail arbitrage or can I start selling without it? Appreciate your reply to this. Thanks. So. This is kind of a similar question that I've been getting a lot ever since my one reseller's uh, permit video kind of started getting a lot of traction. And if you guys need to know how to get a reseller's permit, you can check out the card up in the right hand corner. I'll also try to link that down in the description below. But because I keep getting this, I wanted to make a video to answer this once and for all for beginners that might be a little bit confused. And I get where it comes from because you see like, oh, this reseller's permit thing. And you think like, do you need it to start reselling anything on any of these sites, right? Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. And the answer is no. For 99.9% .9 of things, maybe a little bit less than that, but for sake of like just outlining exactly what you need it for, for most things, you don't need a reseller's permit. You don't need a wholesale license. You don't need a wholesale, whatever it is, there's like 10 different names for it, depending on your state. You don't need a permit. You don't need a license for anything that you're selling coupon arbitrage wise, right? Going to retail stores, right? If you're going to like Walmart or you're going to CVS or Target or, or Ross or you know whatever it is, you don't need a reseller's permit to buy from there and resell on Amazon or resell on eBay or resell on Poshmark or resell on Mercari or resell anywhere, okay? You also don't need a reseller's permit to uh, buy from you know retail websites, right? And stuff like that and resell, okay? Now you might need to get ungated on Amazon potentially, you know, that's a completely different thing. But no, you don't need a reseller's permit for most things when you're buying from one place and reselling on another. The only times, there's two times where you're gonna need a reseller's permit, okay? And the only times when you need a reseller's permit is when you're trying to buy from a wholesale company or when you're trying to buy from a liquidation company, okay? If you're not sourcing liquidation and you're not sourcing wholesale, you don't need a reseller's permit and you don't need to worry about it, okay? So I try to make it as simple as possible. If you're not sourcing liquidation, if you're not sourcing wholesale, don't worry about it, okay? Just completely ignore that. If you are, or if you plan to in the future, then yes, you will need a reseller's permit. All that basically does is it allows you to buy cheaper so you're not paying the sales tax essentially ahead of time and you can make higher margin on the potential product, but then obviously you would charge the sales tax to the customer or the, the marketplace would do it, whether that's Amazon, Poshmark, eBay, or Mercari, okay? So if you need to know how to get a reseller's permit because maybe you are gonna sell liquidation or wholesale or you plan to in the future, then you can check out that video, like I said, um, it was dropped before, but you can also check it out down in the description. So great questions, guys. I really wanted to clear that up because I've been getting that question or like a, var a variation of that question very, like almost daily, right? And so I really wanted to kind of tackle it for you guys. But you guys have questions. I have answers. If you have a specific question, make sure to drop it in the comment section down below. I would love to answer it for you. On top of that, currently Online Arbitrage Pro enrollment has actually stopped for the month. Uh, 20 people have enrolled, so I'm limiting it now going forward to 20 enrollments per month. So Online Arbitrage Pro is actually closed. I know somebody emailed me and asked me that. I haven't got back to the respond to responding to them yet because I haven't gone through my emails, but I did see the email come in. So that's the answer for that. Enrollments closed currently. It will open back up for 20 more students next month, but currently you can just go to briangarrett.com slash courses and you can enroll in one of my Udemy courses if you really wanna start learning it. Uh, all those are linked for $15.99 or less on my website on briangarrett.com slash courses, okay? So with that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it helps. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you appreciate the value in today's video. I genuinely appreciate it. And it actually does do a lot, believe it or not, even one like from you does do a lot to help the video rank in search results so more people can see it and it can help more people. So with that being said, guys, I hope to see you in the next one.